So we started playing around with Isaac Sim 5.0 again after a long time of letting it sit. Um, and one of the things I noticed was that um, you know, a lot of the interfaces from NVIDIA have vastly improved from when I used it last time, and especially from um, using a higher uh, performance graphics card than the 5090, so much different um, than, than it has been in the past with the 4090. So here I have, uh, obviously, this toy simulator of a bunch of, uh, looks like wheelchairs outside of a hospital. I just grabbed the hospital and I loaded the reference and it gave me this, uh, you know, the entirety of the hospital, as you can see here, with doors, walls, and other kinds of things. This is a big, big, big file. And then I just wanted to see a camera perspective. So I pulled in a Z2 camera and how you do that, you go to create and you see here there's robots and sensors, but there's also environments, sensors and assets. And there's also cameras. So I can create a generic camera um, or I can create an environment with a specific kind of camera. So here um, I'm gonna to go to sensors, camera depth sensors, and then in this case, I'm going to use ZX, uh, but I could have easily used Intel RealSense or any of these other cameras. But I'm so I'm used to kind of familiar with Intel's from years ago and Sterolabs, and obviously I use uh, Luxonis OpD Pro pretty much in all my projects now. So um, that being said, I uh, import a camera, bring in a camera, and if I want to change the perspective. I can look at the camera left and right here. As you can see here, that's the camera left, camera right. And so this the left lens seems to be obscured by something, and I just dropped it in a permanent location. This is not attached to a robot or anything. Um, and then and there you go, that's the camera left and right together. Okay, and it shows up as a, um, if you go here to the Z2, it's got an IMU sensor in it, so I can read um, the sensor data coming from here, and I can see the left and right camera there. All right. So that being said, what I'm going to do now is to sim simply visualize that. So I'm going to run it. And uh, when I run this, I'm going to go back over to my already sourced terminals. And so I have here um, that I am running Jazzy in the terminal, and then I'm just going to open uh, Arviz. But before I open Arviz, I want to I want to actually just take a look at ROS topic list. So ROS2 topic list, and I see here that there's RGBD and uh, the click point, my transformations and those kinds of things. So for right now, let's just take a look at like any one of them. So I'm gonna um, you know ROS2 topic e echo. and uh, let's echo tf because i'm not publishing that um it's you're not going to see anything there so i'm not publishing this topic okay so you, you ask yourself the question what am i publishing great question so I look at the action graph and the simulator is running the publishing here um i look at this action graph what i'm going to notice uh, let's go to it is uh let's open up that one always do that um what i what i what i notice is that the action graph let's make it a little bit bigger is only in this case publishing the camera now i could have done other things i could have uh and i'm only publishing the camera images but i also could uh, publish the IMU data and that would give me back the um, you know the the transformations that we're looking for so I can get the IMU data back in this case I'm just going to say um, and this is a very simple one playback tick meaning every uh, frame I'm going to send one simulation frame as a step and uh, the domain is still ROS2 context and then I'm going to take that and uh, I'm going to subscribe to the camera topic. So here, my instance, 
Let me move this out of the way for you guys. Of the camera helper. Um, this is my camera. It's the camera helper. And the camera prim is the ZX. So there we go. That's how I, I get my camera and I, I'm starting to publish. So I'm, I'm publishing the camera and uh, we're obviously going to visualize it, but first, before we visualize it, let's let's also look at uh, the echo of the topic and RGB. So it is publishing something. So let's find out exactly what it's publishing. So if I want to do that, let's go to RViz, RViz2, and RViz will show up. And you see when RViz shows up, um, there's no TF data being published. We understand that. We just talked about that. And then, so now I'm going to add an image topic. So there's image. Click OK. It says no image. Why? Because we have not subscribed to the actual topic. We're not, we didn't tell Arviz what the topic is that we're about to use. So you click in here. It's kind of a, you know, funny UI. You don't know that you're supposed to be able to click in there, but you can. And the only image topic available is RGB. Uh, so I'll click on that. And there we go. There's the image. And if I were able to move this, uh, you know, it's not a robot, it's just a camera. If I was able to move the camera around, the image would also um, would also move around. Um, and so yeah, that's it. That's all. If I, if I change the um, where this camera was located, so basically I moved it, um, you know, the the image would also move. So let's say I, you know, did something like. I translated it in the Y or something like that. The whole the whole camera would move, you know, to some wild location and stop and run the, the simulator again because it's it's a static camera. You'll see that the you know the, the camera would move then in uh, you know the camera left is now moved, camera right's now moved. There we go. So and, and that's that's basically all I wanted to show in this tutorial, one light and easy tutorial where we just kind of go off and take a look at the, um, the camera. And it's much more snappy and performant than it used to be. So now the next step will be to add this to a robot and make it move around. So let's do that in the uh, following step. All right.